the last performance and this is by sp ma'am's group can you please come here and this is not just the last performance of your team but this is i think the last performance of revati because next year you will be joining somewhere else so it's both a very emotional moment for all of us and the topic that they are doing right now is how do these identities dwell in the public space can the identities dwell in the public space how safe is it let us trace the journey of because you have to understand trans identities have to in the public space it's not just between the house and the school and the jama right they are social beings who have the right to be socially visible and that is how human beings are meant to be so how safe is this journey how safe is their everyday travels and how safe according to the indian penal code is this space don't you think you know these are seeds of thought that i would like to express that the very fort which is an uncertain space how does it become safe because it's so unsafe most of the data was performed here right and still they want to face is considering that house is a unholy place for them consider how uncertain so all the best First, let me introduce ourselves. We are the professors, and our members are Sheena Mormo, Mohan Amani, Shubhya Mohan, Shubhya Lakshmi Sade, and Nishu Mushima. As we can see, our topic for today is exploring neighborhoods and talking about the meaning of public spaces. Now, the first question that arises in our mind is who is neighborhood? A neighborhood, a transgender woman and member of the Hijra community, was born as Bhai Swami in Tamil Nadu. After encountering a Hijra community in Delhi, she underwent the sex reassignment surgery and was renamed as Revati. She is now a prominent writer, activist, and advocate for LGBT rights in India. These are some of the books written by her. Now we will delve into the various ways in which Revati, then known as Doraesamy, uh, was treated during the early stage of her life. Chapter one of A Truth About Me by A. Revati reveals the protagonist's early encounters with ridicule and harassment in school and uh, on street due to her uh, due to her deviation from conventional gender roles. She was taunted uh, with uh, labels like uh, number nine, uh, number nine girl boy, and subjected to mockery for exhibiting feminine traits. The chapter also depicts a scene where the uh, protagonist uh, faces punishment from the PT teacher for not displaying the um, expected courage associated with uh, masculinity, underscoring the societal pressure to conform to rigid to rigid gender expectations. In chapter two, we find uh, in chapter we find that Doraesamy was bullied and teased by the boys in school. for playing chandramati then why another performance at table she was booked by drunken men on street when dressed as kurathi later in the chapter we can see that dora uh, sami repeatedly being at this several time for participating in cultural activities in chapter 3 we see able to musician to speak a uh, step by tuition classes Uh, helps her encounter people like her on the hill fort, where she finds solace in them. However, this sanctuary is disrupted when a group of rowdies assault one of Revati's friends and perform danda on her. Through this romantic experience, Revati is exposed to the harsh reality of sex and vulnerabilities faced by people like them. By this incident, we find that she knows about the sex reassignment surgery. And expresses her desire to fully transform into a woman. And next, later in the chapter, we see the bus experience while she and her uh, of her friends are uh, going to Delhi. There, uh, when they they were sitting in the bus, they uh, they got scared from the public, which disgusted her. That why should they why should they be 
stare, she'd be staring at them. Uh, at that point, uh, she, you know, fully uh, decided that she wants to be a woman. As uh, if she would be a woman, then maybe they don't have to wear such discriminations. And lastly, when she was going to the temple with uh, with the Jamaat, we see that they uh, people went kissing them publicly, but they were talking behind their back. And lastly, in fact, uh, what Ayo Shomosri is telling, I will tell you, this is a very complex emotion. Because in the very friend circle, one ought to enjoy this attention. They see it as attention, and Revati sees this as a kind of harassment. And you see, this, this is very different. I mean, suppose, like, even girls are or boys are. Our interpretation of harassment or attention is different. At what level, it's a very funny line, let me tell you. At what level, this attention becomes harassment and this harassment becomes attention, still we are yet to know. Let me tell you, as a child, I'm going to Amarna, the idea of rape was very vague. Because I have grown up with songs like Chordo, Atta, Zamana, Kya Sahena. The women will constantly say, you know, you will not do this to me and my no will not be accepted. And that is a part of sexual politics. I really did not understand what made rape so shameless. Even to the Bollywood a rape that into at a sort of idealized much much more by normalized for my even to me they pay usually J Kono Phil Hamde Jesse Kari get the full or can't take J college a look only at the doll of chili cheese for big gun for big. Mayra she that you know rap for big gali dev. This has been glamorized. Public space a police. Aak mare ladka, aak mare. And, and, and this is sort of glamorized. The, the man, policeman is doing it. This is, it has the 1990s in Anta Manchuru. He's all got to the 21st century that has been started with the same concept. Me society did not show. Society did not show. Society did not show. That's literature, that's the literature. It's a society. Fine. Kali Shekhar, it's a village. 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 Public space, video for a bunch Without much content. Alright, she needs to look at the photo of the photo. It was not for a key. And Avaro Bolchi, it depends. You don't need to put shade. Right? It won't be a shade after you have to record an ask in chapter 4. We see a rare incident that Revati is bullying and mocked by the own, by the members of their own community sometimes. For being inspired to be a woman. The harsh treatment intensified when she returns home after a month where and she can't work properly and her father abuses abuses not exposes her insults her in front of a group of men which which is which ultimately uh, which which is the ultimate thing for which she ran away from home. It shatters this confidence. Yeah. Right, it doesn't feel human being anymore, and it's also it's not just mental or psychological, emotional. It goes on to physical level. If you remember, you know he is being bruised, and and they have to apply grease or show it down. Oh, I'm fine now. Every day, your bruises go deeper and deeper. Which body bruise? Need a question is still open. Shara, the text of bodily bruises go to the bottom. Just because of the fact of chance. This is a pivotal moment where she faces the societal prejudices and challenges, which ultimately also helps her in the journey of self-realization and self-acceptance. Now we are going to see a small enactment on a specific scene in chapter two. The scene starts while Revati is getting ready for her performance at the Mariaman festival. Now we will see her performance.